Good morning. Um, crew's not here yet. I'm going to set a line. You guys can watch. Um, got some... I'll give you a rundown of the job, I guess. So I got these two oak trees here. Um, foot for scale. Pretty decent leaders coming off of them, I'll have to say. This is gonna be kind of a super mess up here above the house and shit. I'm probably gonna anchor up there high um, climb line and main rigging point, put the porter wrap here. Um, that way I'll be able to take care of this tree or the majority of it with um, I'll be able to take care of this tree with this tree. Hopefully I could rig all of that stuff into this area um, That would be nice. We'll see how it goes it Doesn't always go as planned. I kind of make a plan. Oh. I kind of make a plan um, When I'm on the ground like a, a little just like go with, you know, a little pre-game assessment to see where I'm at. And, uh, and it, it, you know, it changes, it changes over time. Once I get up there and get a different perspective, I'm like, oh, I can't do it that way. What was I thinking? I'm trying to make a video. I know you guys can't see the throw ball and stuff because it's a super high angle. So as you could have guessed, I did not make the shot. I missed my slingshot. I don't know where it is. I think I left it at UT. I looked for it the other day. Good morning. Down with it. Down with it. All right, take two. Oh, straight up. Wonder, and I just, how? I just fed it in there all nice and easy. Why would it be fucked up like this?
got to be a better way. For sure, and all those wires in that house. So, if you guys remember, these are the guys. This is one of the guys from that one crane job. I 
Yeah, I'm gonna be filming all day. You don't have an issue with that? No, no, no. All right, you don't have any like warrants. You're not like a wanted criminal, a wanted felon. Uh, <laughs> America's the most wanted. I mean, you don't have to answer that. And what's your name and social? <laughs> hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna be filming the whole day. Uh, you don't you don't mind, do you? You're not like a wanted criminal, not a felon. All right, just making sure. <laughs> he said we're a felon. <laughs> you don't know you're a felon, Aaron. <laughs> so, that, so that was like a. That was like a release form. <laughs> a ver verbal release form. I I mean I'm a, I'm a felon, but I'm not wanted right now. Yes. I actually I'm not a felon, but <laughs> I'm a felon. I'm a I've been arrested for felonies. Right. Never been convicted. All right. Hopefully I remember to turn my headset on or turn it off last night and it's not fucking dead. That would suck. Let him uh, set it up. You know, how to pair all three of them. Uh, I actually, I actually don't know how to pair three of them. Because I have a different unit than you do. What what units do you have? Yeah, you have those ones. I have I have the newer. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know how to do two of them, but three is a pain in the dick. To be honest with you, I could pair two, it's super easy, but three is just like gets. I need to be paired with you. All right, so are you gonna be running my ropes today? Uh, yeah. Who has experience running ropes? Okay. You know how to use the Porter app? Yeah, well. I mean, just like, I, it's okay yeah. if you don't, just let me know, that way I could show you. You know what I mean? If you don't. Oh yeah, I'll give you a rundown. Cause like, this is gonna be. Wrapped around the tree. Um, what are you guys hauling away at, just in that trailer? No. You have a grapple coming or yeah, something? Yeah, I'm going to have, um... You have a mini skid... Ones. This is going to be a lot of debris coming down pretty quickly. So, in order to get this job done yeah. today, I want to do as much as I can. Yeah. But it's highly going to be dependent on the, the production on the ground. Right. You know what I mean? Okay, so you and me call Big Boy out here now? Big Boy? What, what do you mean? Big Boy Street Service? For what? With the grapple? No, I mean, there's no debris on the ground, but I'm just saying, it like, you're gonna have to stage it, you, you know, there's not gonna be a lot of room. All that debris staged there, okay. and then the logs, <clears throat> I got a bobcat, so as soon as the logs are dropping, I'm lowering, I'm gonna grab the bobcat and pick it up. I guess this is gonna be my best bet. I just walked around the whole fucking tree. <clears throat> Actually, you know what, John? Don't even go there. We can have to run out the house. Yeah. We go get the bobcat stand right back. Right. That'll work. Everything, yeah, all the brush is going to go over there. You got a bobcat? Um, yeah, it should. It should have plenty, yeah. Just comes straight here. Drop that off and grab that uh, bobcat trailer. You gotta hurry up. Come on. Yeah, hurry up. Come on. Fast. <clears throat> so on this, you're gonna go this way, this way, and across. All right. So this is the one that's coming down, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you got the general, the general idea here. Um. Wish that was twisted more. Anyways, um, yeah. So we're gonna be using the bigger yellow line right, over there, right, right. fatter this, line. This is yeah, just an idea. example. So come so through. Come through. Mm -hmm. Like that. Right. Now this is how the device looks when it's running. Yep. Like this, right? Mm -hmm. So if you need two wraps, wrap two. This is one wrap. Okay. All right. And so two. starts here, goes around one yep. time, ends yep. here, one wrap. Yep. Two, two three. so on and so okay. forth. Yep. All right, now, what's wrong here? Do you see anything wrong? Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna bind up here. And Correct. It's gonna fucking, very good, yeah, very good, awesome. Thank you for noticing that, yeah. That's not good. No, that's keep, good. Keep the rotation, the orientation. And then hold. And then hold, yeah, I mean. You should be able to, I should be able to hold, what, 3,000 pounds it, it, with two ropes? No, 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 Um, it's, it's about 300 pounds per wrap. Okay. So each wrap, you get about 300 pounds. What's going of on, man? 
<clears throat> um, um, if you could park over there, I'm gonna have the grapple here and then a bobcat trailer here. Okay. All right. <clears throat> yeah. So I mean, I'll let you know. One, two, three wraps. Uh, let's turn your headset on. Ooh. Yeah, let me do it. Yo, yo, check it. Now, like, in order to get the third guy on there, like, you gotta pair with him, and then, like, and then, and then it's I got weird. The video, I mean, I well, I know, but it's super confusing okay. <laughs> for me. Like, I'm pretty computer, like, I'm pretty like computer Just, yeah. savvy. All but you really need is one person, so you can tell me what's going on. Yeah. No. Nope. <clears throat> Double rings. Those are, I'll, I just, I'll ask for a double. This is like a single redirect, that's what I call it. I mean, you're cool with me free cutting some of this stuff, right? Yeah. That's gonna make the day go by easier, quicker. Like I said, if you need the bucket to try to get some of this shit, I don't care. You can use it. I'm not. I'm just gonna climb it. I'm All more right. comfortable. Appreciate it, though. Yeah. And I wonder why my throw line's always. So I'm gonna do a lot of random talking to the camera, just so you know. I'm not fucking insane. You just film the whole job and then you piece it out. I post everything. I post from the start. To finish like i posted that crane job we did yeah it was a, it was a four four hour five hour series posted five parts all right. and all the Just new guys post, watch it post after what post after what do you mean job after or are you doing live no it's not live okay. yeah that would be a pain in the dick yeah yeah i mean i could go live with like with my phone Do you have permits for these trees? Yeah. Alright, cool. Homeowners hold them. Cool. Actually, I'll have them. <coughs> I mean, I don't care either way personally. They're shit trees and they gotta yeah. go. No, I'm saying you think you should have them in the window. If you want to. That's the like the rule, I think. I can't answer that. Sorry. Um, um, um. Audible. 
the restaurant at the end of the universe. What the fuck did I do? Mm. Saddle, such a pain. Yo, are you there? Oh, well, I'm gonna. So, do you know how to mute and unmute? Yeah, just press the thing, what? Yeah. I'm gonna, like, keep you on mute until we need to talk and shit. Alright. I'm, like, in the middle of this book. <laughs> I'm listening to a book. So what, I can hook my phone up and then as soon as I mute you, it'll go right to my phone? Right to your music, yeah, it'll go back to music. How the fuck do you do that? Are you paired to your phone? Mm -mm. Turn your Bluetooth on. Tell me when it says phone pairing. Phone pairing. Alright, then look for it. The device name will appear when device is connected. You have an iPhone? No, Android. Oh, okay. Aaron. It's fucking dope. <laughs> Alright. So then all I do is press the button real quick and it'll go right back to you? Yeah, just hit it once. It'll mute me. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, and then pair. Hit it right. once. Just hit it once and it mutes. And then that goes right to my phone. It goes back to your phone. Like, turn your music on. Like, That's right, it went on. back to my book. It just went back to my book. Wow, that was pretty dope. <laughs> That's the best that. part about it, dude. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah, so if you start, if you add a third one in there, and mine's not the same as yours, so it's like. Yeah. If you add a third one in there, bro, you mute, it's tried to, He has to mute it's, too. It's weird, bro. It like it throws a whole wrench in everything. That's why I only like doing two. Yeah. You know. You, you didn't need the pulse all on any of this. The power printer? Yeah. No. Okay. Oh man. We're good, bro. It's gonna go quick once I get up there, man. Man, I got. That might be a little bit of a long this, day, but. I got the 661 over here. Bro, that bitch is chewing. I put a um, I put an eight inch um, an eight inch sprocket on it or eight inch tooth, and then I switched the bar to where it could run a 404 chain. Yeah. And it's a 32 inch chain. Let me put a brand new chain on that thing. That bitch is ripping like an 880. Sweet dude. It's got the max high flow um, <sighs> air filter, and then I put a, a triple port on the front of it. Chewing. I just put, I brought my 6.6 to the shop. It's doing good. Yeah, that's not a 661. The fucking, uh, I know the 200s, the steel 200s are better than the 201. Yeah, I had one of those. I, I sold it like six months ago to buy my phone. Somebody wanted it. I, I had there. to fucking change that out. I had to pop these rivets and switch the fucking Tip? nose. Yeah, to a 404. I don't even fuck around with modding my chainsaw. That's cool. That bitch is bad. I'm gonna have to write everything on here because I gotta, I gotta make my own chain. That's a heavy ass chain. And then I put that triple port on there. That's cool. That bitch is ripping. You like it, huh? Yeah, but the only thing is, is if you get chain, oh, um. Okay. I'm just gonna pack her diaper bag and we're just gonna head out for the day. That's fine. Um, I'd say about what ten minutes you're about to be up in the tree. Yeah. Um, okay, that's fine. Can you, do you guys want me to like, text you or something first before we walk out of the house? Yeah. You're good. Just I, I keep an eye on the on the area and stuff. Okay. Just. Okay. Another thing. Can you put the furnace on the window? Okay. 
Like if you were stomping it in a trailer to pack it so they could fit more shit in there? Well, I haven't done a lot of trailer loading myself, but I've seen a lot of people do it. And, um, or like grapple loading. Yeah. A lot of the times, I mean, you always fill, you fill your closest area, or you fill the back first yeah. or the closest area first. And I see a lot of guys, um, you know what I mean? They take it long and stuff like that, and then they'll mash it down. Um, but a lot of times they'll cut things sideways. You know what I mean? Like they'll grab the grapple and they'll cut it as wide as the truck. Yeah. And they'll shove it in there and they'll just what do that. What about putting it out there by the curb and then literally just dice it? I mean, I, it's a little harder to grab. But it's even more compact shit where you can stuff. Yeah, and that's, I don't know, man. So and that's where, like, that's where I kind of get out right. of, because I don't, I, I got maybe like three hours on a grapple my whole career. You know what I mean? How long have you been climbing though? 10 years. It's like, that's what I do, man. I just climb, you know? Yeah. I don't like anything. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll run a grapple, but if somebody's, like, when I worked for UT Tree Service, you ever heard of them? Yutzi? Yutzi, yeah. Um, like, I ran their grapple a couple times. Like, Did you so like Yutzi? I loved the owner, loved the company, loved the guys. Hated the type of work. It's all lift work, man. I'm not a lift guy. Yeah, I mean, I have nothing but respect for the owner. That's fine. You just take it right on the front window. I just hated it there because I wasn't doing this. So you left on good terms with Yeti or no? Uh, he fired me. It wasn't a good fit. So once you figured out well now so a chainsaw went missing on site and it was the one that i was using i was responsible for it um why didn't you just pay for it no i went off on my foreman because he said he had nothing to do with it and he wasn't responsible at all and he's like 24 year old kid uh, he was and i was like bro this is your job site you I, take I, I was like i was like you need to take some accountability i was like i'll pay for it if i have to i take accountability for what i did but you can't sit here and tell me it's 100 percent my fault right you know because he didn't do a walk around he didn't do that and 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 so like we got to the next job the chainsaw wasn't there uh youtube's gonna like this story. but um i haven't told this story publicly but we got to the next job site chainsaw wasn't there he was like where's the saw and i was like i don't fucking know i don't know where i put it and i didn't you know i, I don't fucking remember i got done cutting and i set it down somewhere and that's that's the reality of the situation. It was my responsibility. And he was like, nah, fucking. He was like, I'm fucking telling Carl. He was like, I'm telling Carl I had nothing to do with that shit. That shit wasn't my fault. It's all you, bro. And I was like, you little bitch motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, we were out here working together for months and you're going to throw me under the bus just like that, you fucking little it's bitch. I was like, this is, yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Well, the funny, the, the part was, is like, I went back to the, I was like, take me back to the fucking shop. I'm out. Fuck you, dude. Fuck this. <laughs> fuck this. I'm out. We went back to the shop. Um, and I was, uh, fuck. And I was in there talking to the office guy, like venting. I was like, man, I'm sick of being out here babysitting. Fucking, I'm foreman out there. And this kid just asked me, he's got a problem. Every, he's asked me every fucking question. And, uh, and Carl was like around the corner listening to me. He walked in and the fucking office guy saw him and didn't even give me a cue or nothing. It was like something out of a movie. That's good shit. That was funny. But Carl was basically like, dude, I don't have time to mess with this shit. I don't have time to worry about this, bro. It's, he's like, I'm going on vacation. He's like, I'm leaving for vacation in, in, uh, he's like, I'm leaving for vacation in 10 minutes. Trevor, this is your last day. 
He gave me two weeks severance. Yeah. You know? Uh, he gave me two weeks on 40 hours, and I was like, that's fucking respectable. Thank you. You know? And he said he was going to charge me for the chainsaw, but he never did. And I let him know, you know? I was like, hey, I didn't see a deduction from that last check for the saw, and he didn't even respond. Too much shit. Oh, do you have fuel and oil here? Yeah. Can you check my gap, my, and toss me that black thing? Thank you. It might have some in it already. That pours fast, huh? <laughs> you think it's <laughs> you think it's gonna catch fire when I start it? Headache. Don't worry about starting it. Yo, you there? All right, um, I am gonna, I'm gonna take this shit off and I'm gonna need that yellow rigging rope in a minute. Uh, it's in that red bag. Uh, I might've put it over by my stuff, I don't know. Yeah, right. Yeah, it just, yeah, it's fine right there. Uh, I gotta think of a plan. Will you put this in my bag by the house, please? Um, shit. Go to think of what I'm gonna do here. All right. Um, right now, I am gonna give you some slack. My red line, that's carabiner to the tree. Can you unclip that? Please. 
Um, not right this second. Actually, yeah, you could, yeah, go ahead, clip this saw right to that. I'll pull it up, good idea. And can you do me a favor? Um, the saw is on there. All right, hey, can you, as I feed the, can you put all this red line back into the bag and then uh, tie the rope to the bag? That way, because I need to pull it up here and over limbs and drop it out of the way. Stuffed in, stuffed into the bag, yeah. The best way to do it is like put all the rope Put all the rope behind you and just feed it over your shoulder into the bag. You know what I'm saying? Oh, smells like gas. <laughs> yeah, you got it. That's the best way to feed a bag. Right there. And then once once it gets to the point where it, all the stuff's on the ground is in the bag, then just tie it to the handle or something. Yeah, I got, that's why I got to reposition it, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's my climb line. Uh, not yet, I got, I got to throw this in a spot where I'm going to need that to go, you know what I mean? Yeah, all right, thank you. I'm going to adjust my spike here. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, after I'm gonna throw my bag down on that porter app side, and then I'll have you tie on the rigging line. First, you'll untie this bag, um, and then I'll have you untie the rigging line and and uh, exactly. Yeah, sorry, I'm like doing things and trying to talk. <laughs> Yeah, just untie that, attach attach a set of those rings, the doubles, by the house, um, where the garage would be, and then attach that yellow rigging one. <coughs> uh, yeah, grab a set of the doubles, and um, yeah, that'll be it. Just one set of the doubles right now. We're gonna, and the rigging line, please. And uh, actually, can you, can you, uh, gonna have you set or send up um, one of those singles too? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one of those. It, now it's over there in the same place. I, maybe it might be over there. I'm not sure. Sorry. <coughs> yeah, it's just one of those short ones. So I'm gonna try to rig that whole entire tree off of this tree. That's my plan, man. It's okay, as long as it comes up, buddy. This is a tall tree. I can see over most things. Ready? Um, I'm, I think I'm about 60 right now. I got another 15 feet. Thank you, buddy. Watch your head, there might be stuff that falls. All right. Delivery. Yeah, good job. I feel like it's only ghetto if it works half ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that worked well, so. Call that a win. What? You got up.
correct. <clears throat> I'm setting lines in here and I'm gonna make my way over there. I'm setting up my rigging, my main rigging points that'll, um, that we'll use for the rest of the day. Cause I'm gonna try to bring everything into these points. That way it comes off the house. We don't gotta get on the roof or any fancy shit like that. Try to get everything. Cause like it adds more steps if we start fucking, if we start cutting everything and dropping it on the roof, you know what I mean? That's like, now we gotta bring it to the roof and then throw it off the roof and then drag it from the yard. So it's like, better to just, all right, let me see this shit. You know what, I need to fix my climb line before I do anything. Ugh. I listened to the uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. You ever heard of it? It's just fucking crazy ass. It's like, it's like British fucking humor, dude. It's like a crazy weird book. Um, it's about this guy, um, Arthur Dent, who lives on Earth and then like all of a sudden his buddy comes and he's like, hey, we gotta go. This planet's gonna fucking... He's like, this planet's out. And he's like, what? Planet? What are you talking about? He's like, yeah, five minutes, you know? So he's like the only human left. And, and then they just like travel the galaxy and do, do fucking... It's just... The humor is just crazy weird and I like it. So, and it, it, It's like a funny book. It's the funniest book I've ever had read. I got sick of listening to music at work, man. You know? Yeah, well, yeah, and it's like, it's a story. It's a story. I mean, I'm not learning shit besides, like, jokes. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Next one. We're going to be rolling here soon, buddy. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, if you want to. But within the next, like, 10 minutes, I'm gonna be making a cut, I think. I think I'm gonna cut <laughs> that piece first. Yeah, I mean, like, I, it, ass cut rigging line I nicked my rigging line the other day and I still haven't fixed it typical All right. yeah I have tape in my bag and a knife you know it's just electrical tape so I can capitalize on the rope tape tape market though that'd be dope <laughs> we got special rope tape <laughs> <laughs> I know.
Alright, right, I'm gonna cut some small stuff out of my way really quick, okay? Yeah. Yeah, and here, let me, uh, I need to get all my fucking slack out of here. Small stuff coming down, headache. Clear? Thanks for having communication. Nice. Nobody ever does. Yeah, I know, I know. I, just, I wouldn't have done this job otherwise. I don't fuck with power, bro. It's just not worth it. Ugh. But power out, scheduling, scheduled power outages are free, dude. You know that, right? Oh, on that one that you showed me? What kind of tree was that? Um, sycamore? Oh, uh, yeah. I thought maybe it was a eucalyptus at first. I see eucalyptus, yeah. Yeah. All right, get on that rope. Um, yeah, you don't need a wrap though. It's super small. I'm just clearing. Go ahead. Yep. Nah. Finds like a special ring. <laughs> if you need to answer it, it'll go to your headset now. Yeah, if you answer it. It'll mute it automatically. It's fucking nice, dude. Alright, cutting little sucker. First. Alright, ready? Hold it. Down quickly, fast as you can. Good. You know the drill now, right? Okay. Yeah, right. Not today, buddy. <laughs> Don't get... <laughs> I'm gonna cut some suckers. Let me know when you're clear. Those are nice. Not oh, this is two very large trees. Fuck.
É. Yo, I'm ready on the rope. When you are, get a wrap. One wrap. <clears throat> yeah, just so you know, common courtesy to hit the mute button before you start cutting with a chainsaw. <laughs> I'm like, ah, yeah, it's so loud. <laughs> All right. I mean, not for me right now, because we got to communicate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it only, it only applies to you, homie. Yeah. All right, hold it there for me, buddy. Them, see what it does. It's caught on those fucking limbs. Do I let it down? I think it'll tuck through them. Keep holding. Yeah, keep going down. All right, hold it there. Um. Ah, uh, I don't. I don't think to be able to pull it up. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, pull. All right, go ahead, just let it down, slowly. I think it's gonna fucking, yeah, it's, I think it's gonna slide out of there. Come on, baby. There you go. Hold it. All right, you're good. Once, like, like I can't really control it once you have it, so, okay. You gotta make those, those decisions. <laughs> Rub's free. Thank, thank you. Mute. Yep. I'm gonna free cut some stuff real quick.
You're good. If you forget, I'll just mute you. That's it. No, no worries. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to have, you know? That way we're not yelling. Like, so, so when I muted, did your music come on or are you listening to music? Yeah. That's cool. Fuck yeah. How long have you had them? Really? Oh my god, dude. That sucks. Oh, man. Uh, nice. All right, um, pull on this rope. No wraps. I'm gonna cut it and I need you to put your weight into it so it comes off the house. Like, no wraps, just pull. Like, use all your muscles. Anything on the ground. Yeah, pull that rope tight. Uh, hang on one second. All right, go ahead, keep going. Yeah. Just try to like, um, yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. You're good, dude. Don't worry about it. Not a big deal. It's not, it's not like imperative, but it's mostly like, yeah, well, it's just, it's mostly like whenever guys are hammering, I don't know, like. It's fine. It's, don't, don't worry about it. I was just saying, it's like, what you know, when you, if you remember, just, I, I can always mute it too. Hey, get on that rope. Please. Go ahead, and pull it tight.
Thank you.
So YouTube, sorry for not talking. I am uh I am spanning this pieces here. Yo yo. I'm ready on the rope. Uh so we're doing something that's called span rigging. So I have it anchored up here. Right, I have it anchored up here, going through that redirect and then down to you. So it's hooked on a carabiner and a strap right here. You'll have to unhook it. It's gonna come in between, you know, right there. You'll have to unhook it and then clip the carabiner so I, I need it back, all right? Um, yeah, get a wrap. But you're only getting half of the weight on this. You know what I'm saying? Get, get a wrap just in case, you know? But I'm just saying like, you might have to take it out. Pull this slack out from the top and go like that. That's like an every time thing, unless I say it's not necessary. All right. I gotta check my camera. 